Hello and welcome back to Sonic 2 with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Puggy. So, um, this is Sky Chase Zone and this will also be the last episode of Sonic 2. Yes, um, because we are going to cover the final levels today. Uh, Sky Chase Zone as a level is just, I guess, what I would call a breather level. Um, also it is auto-scrolling. Sonic is on the wing of the tornado, Tails is plane. Although, apparently, according to Sonic X, it's actually Sonic's plane, so yeah. But, um... Yeah, certainly the adventure games take place in the same universe as the classic Sonic games, which, according to Sonic Generations, that is indeed the case. But anyway, that being said, we will have to jump on various badniks to just avoid them. Uh, those annoying flying uh, badniks are called uh, Nebula, apparently. And those turtle... Bad mix can also shoot um, fireballs at you. Seriously, they're riding much bigger turtles. One thing I've noticed, I will say about about Sky Chase Zone, Sonic cannot fall off the um, the tornado at all. Seriously, Tails is that good of a pilot that he can keep up with a supersonic blue hedgehog. And there you will see the Wing Fortress. There, yes, believe it or not, yeah, that is where we are heading. Um, Eggman has his own flying fortress long before he had the flying battery, it seems. So, yeah. And towards the end of this, we will have to deal with a bunch of um, Harrier jets, I guess, or something like that. Seriously. And um, I also do love the music. It is very, very calming, especially compared to the next song we will get for, um, do I say, um... For Wing Fortress Zone, but um, we'll get to that when we get to it, I guess. So yeah, um, these enemies, not really a problem, um, as long as you can jump on them in time. As I say, it's the big turtle robots that shoot the lasers. Anyway, we get to Wing Fortress Zone, and what happens now is that Eggman shoots down Tails' plane, meaning that we have to go solo on this one, if we were if we weren't already doing. So yes, Sonic is doing this alone. So, with that said, uh, let's see Wing Fortress Zone. This level is honestly um, one of the toughest levels in the game, yes. It is also the penultimate stage and the last um, stage we will do any platforming on. Now, I've got here 57 rings. Look what happens when I jump. Yes, yeah, Sonic automatically goes supersonic. It's insane, man. And to the point where I just died. Yeah, that is the problem with Sonic 2 compared to Sonic 3. Um, because in Sonic 3, Sonic actually gets a double jump. Well, sort of. He gets the Insta Shield. So, yeah. But we, because of that, he is much better able to um, control Super Sonic. Because you have to press the button twice to turn Super Sonic. In Sonic 2, it happens automatically. Seriously. And I do find it very, very annoying. Especially since... I unlocked Supersonic first in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, not in Sonic 2. Seriously, I didn't even bother. And besides that, you can't, um, you can't actually fight the final boss with Supersonic. The reasons we will see when we get to Death Egg Zone. Okay, apparently in Wing Fortress Zone, you can actually fall off the tornado as it goes down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, suddenly it, be it becomes um, impossible to fall off there. Oh, there you go. But the main annoyance uh, with, um, dare I see it, uh, with Wing Fortress Zone is the fact that um, you can easily die here. Seriously. Even though I have a good amount of continues, I'm, I think I, at this point I was just really stressed, so that's why I just kept reloading the save state and everything. Um, but that being said, going back to this. Yeah, uh, the thing that will most kill you here is not the bad nicks, but the um, pitfalls. Seriously, and it's the same with flying battery zone, so yeah. And uh, apparently I took a pause break. Understandable, because this stage is very annoying. Also, seemingly these rockets will not hurt you. Seriously, I initially thought they did. Seriously, I thought they did because... Um, um, 
of, um, again, Sonic uh, 3 and Knuckles. Seriously, because they have flamethrowers there in flying batteries on the do, but nope. Although, um, there is something that is referenced in, well, there is in this thing that is referenced quite a bit in Flying Battery Zone. Anyway, I am going to use Super Sonic here, and I am actually going to skip a huge part of the level. Seriously. Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, because uh, Super Sonic is so OP, he can just easily um, jump very, very high. Skipping a huge amount of the level, and I do mean a huge amount of the level. Seriously, I... I tried jumping there and... Okay, Sonic should land there, I don't care. That... That pla that platform is not transparent. It is pretty much... Um, opaque, if you ask me. So, yeah, no... Um, um, excuses there. Seriously, throwing off... Sonic off those platforms is very, very tough. Um, the, the part I'm about to skip um, actually um, covers the lower part of the level because um, there is a part of the level where we'll have some platforms which will quickly retract. So yeah, um, you probably won't see them but they're further down um, after you go down the conveyor belt and everything. So seriously, do I really want to die there? No, I do not want to die there. I want, actually want to go up. Seriously, I do not want to die there. Uh, keep in mind, there are very few checkpoints in this level. Seriously, and much, uh, many more pitfalls and everything, so... Yeah, I don't trust myself with um, Wing Fortress Zone. So, yes. Um, which is a shame, because I love the music as well. Again, it does sound like... Um, a military theme as well, seriously. Um, but uh, that being said, uh, I'll get some more, yeah, and jump over the year uh, thing. Um, I can't think of anything there. I'm sorry. And I want to jump upwards, not to. Seriously? You are not doing a good job there, game! I hope I can uh, jump the gap. Also, I do like how the blue shields turn yellow under Super Sonic, seriously. That is one of the cooler things about this uh, thing, but... That being said, yeah. I do not want to fall off! If that happens again, and I just end up near the thing, I'm just gonna skip it, because... That is just painful. Utterly painful! I... I don't know... I do not like that at all. Seriously. Okay, so Super Sonic, again, um, I do not like how you transform into Super Sonic, I've said that. Um, so yeah, I think for any future games it is mapped to a different button. So indeed, let's go up here and um, go past the checkpoint and there we go. Now here is where I actually do a skip here, seriously. I can easily just, um, because of how high uh, Super Sonic jumps, I can easily, if I get enough momentum, take him over the the uh, pulleys and everything, and um, get up there. Seriously, it's insane. Um, I don't know if Sega intended this to be the case, but you can. Again, so yeah. And I skip the, the whole segment with the retracting platforms and everything. Yeah. Um, um, but you will... If you're not doing, if you don't have all the chaos symbols, then you will need to go on those platforms. Anyway, now Eggman has us trapped, and basically what we have to do here is hit the laser here. If I did not have Supersonic, I it would be a lot harder, and I'd have to use those platforms. But with with Supersonic, he can easily destroy the laser. Seriously. And this whole battle is actually referenced in, um, there I see it, in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So yeah, keep in mind the bottoms of those platforms actually have spikes on them. So if you're doing it with regular Sonic, you will um, have to be wary of that. And seemingly so Sonic's lost his extra quills of Super Sonic. Seriously, even though his ring count is still going down. Um, seriously. Um, Given that we see that Super Sonic is able to survive in space in later games, I don't know why um, uh, he needs Tails' help to get on 
to Eggman's rocket as supersonic, but never mind, I'm guessing that's something Sega just left in. Anyway, that being said, we are now heading to, believe it or not, the um, Death Egg. Yes, Eggman's giant um, space fortress itself. So, Death Egg Zone itself is pretty much a um, boss rush, basically. You face the uh, last two bosses here. First up is Silver Sonic. Yes, apparently, yes, that is what Sega called it, Silver Sonic. And uh, basically what you have to do with Silver Sonic is um, try to avoid its spines while you are trying to hit it. And you can't attack it while it's in a ball. It will also um, spin dash towards you, just like Sonic himself. And it will also jump in midair and shoot out its spikes. So yeah. Um, in Japan, I believe this uh, robot is actually called Mecha Sonic. Seriously, uh, which I'm gonna say is a prototype Mecha Sonic because the one in Sonic 3 and Knuckles is much more badass. Anyway, we've taken him down. However, um, we are not done as Eggman flees towards his next um, robot, and it is one that has become. Quite a staple in the series, let's just say that, because um, we are about to see the Death Egg Robot, oh yes, and this boss is very very tough, much tougher than in Sonic 1, because um, with this boss what he will do is that he will ch uh, slowly walk towards you, while he is doing so it's very hard to hit him, even when he's walking backwards it's very hard to hit him. Seriously, there are only like a couple of times you can actually damage the egg, um, the death egg robot, so yeah. Nice. And, yeah. Especially when he's moving those clawed arms of his, seriously. I know you can't cheat the game like in Sonic Generations. Yeah, you can sometimes damage him by jumping towards him, but I was not able to there. Okay then, we're back. So I managed to get a hit in on, on him there. Afterwards, he will come down like a ton of bricks. Uh, depending on where you are, you can actually hit him as he lands, as he lurches forward. Uh, not easy, but it can be done. Seriously. So, yeah. Um, and yeah. The main reason I put a save state before the Death Egg Robot fight is that because there are no checkpoints in Death Egg Zone in Sonic 2, you will have to fight Silver Sonic again if you die to the um, Death Egg Robot. So yeah, I think hitting the, hitting the upper part of its belly does help. Spin dashing also helps. I just don't want to do it too much because of that move there when um, the Death Egg Robot actually launches its hands. Seriously. So yeah. Um, to be honest, it can be very annoying. Another move it does use is actually um, launching Eggman Bombs. Yes, Eggman Bombs. Apparently, um, Eggman loves himself so much that he not only made balloons of himself in uh, Metropolis Zone, but he created his own bombs of himself, which explode on um, after a short while. So yeah, kind of like the bombs in Starlight Zone, I guess. And um, whatnot, and, and scrap brain zone as well. So yeah, um, it's hard to tell when he's moving forward, but um, yeah, I died there. Again, it's very easy to die to this boss with zero rings. It is easily one of the most challenging bosses in the classic Sonic games. Seriously, because I mean. Um, with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, when you face the, um, I guess I'd like to call it the Malicious Fingers boss, I guess, in, um, in, in Sonic 3, uh, well, Sonic and Knuckles Death Egg Zone, um, you do keep all your rings, unlike in uh, Sonic 2's Death Egg Zone, so yeah. But, um, that being said, I want to die! No, I don't want to die. I actually want to try and beat this boss. If I die again, then fine. I'm, I don't want redundant commentary. Again, it is a tough boss. Seriously. One thing of note, I love the music. 
No wonder um, it was given a remix in Sonic Generations. Seriously. Easily one of the best uh, Sonic boss themes to... In fact, Sonic 2 has pretty good boss themes anyway. Seriously, it does. But, um, only this one and the uh, Sonic 3 final boss themes actually got remixes in Generations. Of course, being the big arm boss theme. The same one used for the Malicious Fingers boss in um, Sonic and Knuckles. So, yeah. But, um, that being said, I'm going to uh, spin dash here. And there we go. And we have to avoid those claws and everything. Um, he's not done... Um, I was on... I'm showing this anyway. He's not done his um, bombs yet, which... Uh, yeah, I think that happens if you're behind him, which... More often than not, does happen to me, to be honest, when facing this boss. So, yeah. Um... But that being said, spin dashing is your friend. Definitely. Uh, so is he gonna use- OH! I died! Yeah, tough boss indeed. I don't think I'll see the Eggman bombs, but never mind. As I say, he does actually use them in Generations as well. Um, believe it or not. True with um, the way um, Classic Sonic moves in that game. Very different to it in here, because you can't rev up the spin dash for one. Yeah. Something you could do in the Mega Drive games. And also the Sonic Advance series. Well, finally, Eggman's uh, egg, um, Death Egg robot pretty much blows up. After the entire Death Egg. And now we get probably one of the coolest um, sequences I've seen in a 16-bit video game. Um, yeah, this ending... It's a classic. We see Tails um, pretty much going out to um, worrying about Sonic and getting in the tornado and um, indeed saving Sonic from potentially burning up in the atmosphere, I guess. Yes, although um, Sonic is known to survive in space. We've seen that many times in the series, but yes. Um, this, I think, does highlight the whole thing. Um, I think if you don't have the Chaos Emeralds, he won't be Super Sonic. Um, he'll just land on the um, the side of the tornado, so yeah. But um, given that he is Super Sonic, apparently he can just float slowly down. So yes, I guess he didn't need Tails' help this time. Anyway, that being said, that was Sonic 2! Yeah, that was the entire game. A much better game than Sonic 1. And probably my second favourite uh, classic Sonic game behind, of course, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So, yeah. And indeed, we get, we do get a credits medley. Yes, the addition of the spin dash really um, uh, adds to the game, in my opinion. True, I did play the Sega Ages version, so, yeah. As I say, I will not be doing the uh, uh, Knuckles in Sonic 2 because, to be honest, there isn't much difference aside from the ability to glide and everything. So, that will be it for Sonic 2 as the arcade version was not included in um, the Sega Ages version, unlike with Sonic 1, which is somewhat of a shame. Although it does kind of function a bit differently from... Um, uh, um, uh, Sonic 1 on the Mega Play Arcade. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, the next Sonic game I will look at will be Sonic CD. The HD version, because I'm... I'm... I did try recording both Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles separately, but I lost the footage. So, yeah. And to be honest, I want to do the full version of the game, which is only a version on, uh, available on Steam, so... I have not yet tried recording off my PC yet, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, I will see you then for when we do do uh, Sonic CD. Goodbye!